Gul'dan. All right. Shall be mine. Game four against Battlefrog. A uh, warlock. Do you think Battlefrogs know Battle Toads, or are they completely separate? They don't hang out together. So kill command usually overkill early. Drop that. Rhinos too high. I'll keep the multi shot as it's the only way I have to deal with a blood imp in this deck. Mm. Still too high end, which is what happened last game. It cost me dearly. Voidwalker. So I really need to draw a three so I can coin a three on this turn. Hopefully he taps here. Or better yet, I draw a two, actually. Good. I only tapped. So we're not going to go crazy behind. Oh, still. So I cannot coin the three because I don't have a follow three. So next turn, I coin multi shot. If he plays another minion, then I can kill. Or I golem without coin. Uh, hopefully he plays another minion. Less presence on the board, but I get two for one. Play Blood Imp or something. Oh wait, that would actually be bad. That's barely a minion. I'm not gonna multi-shot that. Are you crazy? <laughs> I don't have enough mana. <laughs> this is... All Murlocs have one attack. So this guy either is crazy or he drafted a Murloc deck. And he's crazy for drafting a Murloc deck. This will be fascinating to see. Demon fire. Yep. Hmm. I do probably multi shot here unless he plays another minion and then my multi shot might miss. So many. Actually, no, I don't need a multi shot. I'll silence this. I forgot I have the L. What? Soul fire? Alright. You realize this has the same, same attack power. Did he attack with this? Hang on. Hang on. What's happening? Oh, yeah, he did. Okay. So by giving this taunt and soul fire in my golem. I guess he wants me to trade, you know, that. I don't know. Uh, hmm. All right, let's see. So if I silence that, it's a 1-3 without taunt. I'll have two mana. I can coin for three and play a golem. That's pretty good, I think. One. And sure, I'll use my golem to kill your one card. I mean, it's a bad one, but... <laughs> so, all this entire board is really asking to be Shattered Sun Cleric. Looks like he doesn't have it. Which is good for me. Summoning portal. Interesting. And avoid over here. Eh, that sort of sucks. Do I risk a multi shot here? That seems insane. Hmm. Uh, if I Rhino this turn, 
excuse me, right on this turn. I can kill that. Rhino will be a 2-4. This will be a 2-2. Two, two. Probably will kill the Rhino, though. Although only he has three cards when he draws. Well, four if he taps. But with summoning portal, most of those probably are minions. Which can't attack. Alternative play is Silverhand Knight. I, mean, I can do a lot of stuff, but... Silverhand... Or Tiger. Eh, Alright, let's go for it. Why not? Worst case is... I guess these two go into this. Any mortal coils to finish it? And this survives with one. I mean, that's still okay. These are weak minions. So I don't care a whole lot. I have a pretty good late game hand, actually. A lot of fives. Rocketeer. Wow, I didn't expect that. Alright, I guess I'll take a Rocketeer. So my Rhino got... There's a lot of mixing of cards, killing other cards in this game, so... Um, Alright, well, I have six mana, so... Unless I want a multi in hero power, which I don't. I'll do a five in flare. Since this guy doesn't have any... Oh, wait. Actually, Flare would work on Blood Amps, so I better save it. I even forgot I had that in my deck. That's pretty useful. <laughs> so I think Silverhand's the best. The 2-2 two, two dies to this, but the 4-4 four, four kills that. Two of sources of attack damage is better than one. In most cases. Ogre. Yikes. And mechanic. Double yikes. Yeah, that's the right play. Ooh, A bomb is interesting here. Hmm. All right, so if I. If I kill this summoning portal with this guy and A bomb, it sends he sends these two into the A bomb to kill it. This becomes a four two. This becomes a six five. So this lives a little bit too well. Hmm. If I use this to kill this to kill that. A bomb has to die to this, theoretically, but survives. This will survive with one health, and this will die. Mm. I don't think the A bomb is the right play here. I think the killing that and healer is the best play. So if this survives that thing. Summoning portal is sometimes scary. But it's tough to find the opportunity to finish it off in many cases. Um, I mean, what did he summon last turn? I have to, I have to look. An ogre. So he summoned 10 mana worth of stuff for uh, what? 6 mana. Yeah. Ooh, Sunwalker. Alright, well there's the flared blood imp. But it doesn't help me get rid of this.
Hmm. I am in trouble, to say the least. Uh, I think I multi-shot blind here. Ah, but then I can't able him too. Shit. A bomb dies to this, goes off, kills that and that. This does six to me. I'm going down to ten plus A bombs two. This goes down to three, unless it procs after the before the blood imp dies. Goes down to four probably. Now yeah, let's draw another card. Maybe I get something better. Cleric. Uh, not good enough. Yep, A bomb. A bomb and. And uh, shit. Should I have attacked into that? It's tough to say. So many possibilities. If I had healer would die to the A-bomb's explosion. But this would die to the A-bomb if he used it to attack in. If he used this, they'd both survive. All right, so the Blood Imp was alive when the explosion went off. I hear you got a problem. Oh my God, I can't I stop this. Oh die. Jesus, These minions are too big. All right, uh, well, I want a multi-shot, but I can't, and get a taunt out. Not that it matters, I think I'm dead either way. I can cleric this and that can kill that, this can kill that. But then I have six mana remaining. Multi-shot does not kill anything on the board except this. So I think I have to, let's see, would I rather have a 7-7 seven, seven taunt or a 4-9? See, four nine would die to this and this. I would take at least six. And these both survive. Seven seven dies to this, and I take nine, and I just lose. Jesus. It's a terrible spot. So my only hope that I can see that. And not tagging with the healer. Best case scenario is I'm at one right now. Pretty unlikely I live. Nope, I'm dead. That sucks. Oh god. Owners are so bad. Oh, I should have looked at the cards at the end there. Like even though total cards there on the board are in hand pretty even, you know, it's like how many more cards did the Warlock play through than we did? Like we had to deal with so many more because of his hero power. Whereas what is our hero power to? Like, I did two extra damage to him, what, three or four times? Something like that. It's just terrible. Terrible. Ha! 
Alright, game five against LQD, a shaman. Um, this hand is okay. Could be a lot worse, as we saw in the last couple games, so I will keep it. Did I say greetings? Oh, hello. Hello. Okay. Pyro. In case he coins out of three. Although I do have a bow to respond. Probably. Oh, his weapon is better. Where's my ooze? I do I have one? Nope, that's not an ooze. All right, well, Gollum is really good against that, at least. <laughs> oh, jeez. Buzzard to buzzard is not really good. <sighs> so I either float two mana with hero powering once, float one mana and bow naked, which is really risky if he has an ooze. Or buzzard, buzzard. One of them draws a card, the other one, or and then dies to the axe. And at one health, it probably dies something else. I think I have to bow and risk it. Tadzingo. There, I didn't have any news at least. Um, is that worth deadly shotting? Probably not. Although again, what do I do with my mana if I don't deadly shot it? I think next turn I would buzzard, buzzard owl, draw, let's see, one of that, three cards basically. It's all right. All right, yeah, I have to deadly. It's not really that threatening, but it gives me board presence still, which is all I have going for me at the moment. Let the pain speak to me. Okay, I'll hit that with my weapon, definitely. Another taunt total. Ooh, actually, or do I silence the Acolyte so he doesn't draw off it? I think that's probably better. And then use my weapon again, or my hero power. Your magic shall not Make back some of this card disadvantage. I can't do the two... The three beasts play the next turn, though, without floating a mana, but I think that was a better play overall. Ooh, that's really good. So I think I'll use my weapon to kill that. Again, saving my golem. And do the two, 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 and float a mana. I wonder. Okay. 
Okay. So, it's time for Lightning Storm. <laughs> He's got it. Uh, he doesn't? Wow. Well, that's pretty lucky for me. Oh. We got an owl, dude. It's not cool. Oh, one one totem. It's the best thing you could have gotten. That's unfortunate. Ooh. Is it time to go aggro? Let's see, six, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Put them at four. Yeah, that's pretty good. I wonder. Hmm. I multi shot clear the board. I would lose two damage, so he would be at six. Hmm. But then he'll use his weapon to kill one of these or this next turn, go down to four. Although then I'm sort of out of surprises. Quickly. Nope, I changed my mind. Eleven's plenty low, and this is better overall. <laughs> So he's going to go to nine. So that's seven with my hero power. Two with kill command. Oh, wait, actually, no, it's not. I don't have a beast anymore. Shit. Oh, he didn't use his weapon. Never mind. He's got a farseer. Pretty good. Okay, uh, I do think multi shot here. So I have five mana remaining. Probably a bomb. I wonder. I mean, it's a it's a minion. It's against an empty board. It'll draw a silence or a nuke. And he's overloaded at least two, I think, just two. And it doesn't kill this. Either. So it threatens him for at least two more damage on his hero. If he silences it, it's just a 4-4 minion. More taunts. That Ugh. was a mistake. Oh, he was trying for spell damage. Ha ha. That's what you get. You have to think a lightning storm is two damage. The three is just a bonus. Hmm. <laughs> this is an interesting puzzle. If he kills it with his weapon, he takes four and then two from the explosion. His totem dies. My harvest golem dies. And then the two one pops out. Let the pain speak to me. Acolyte. That's pretty good. 
Um, let's see, so three, five, six, seven, I can do to him, even without a beast. Maybe I draw into one, though. Nope. All right. Well, I still think he's doomed. It's really going to be tough for him to heal. Shamans don't have much healing. Or any healing, really. Outside of neutrals. Cute. But even if he draws two cards right now, he has two mana, so you can't kill my Yeti. He needs a lightning bolt or a taunt totem. Actually, a taunt totem wouldn't do it. Fork lightning. No, that wouldn't do it. I have a hero power for two. I think he's just dead. Good effort. Oh. Does he have a light? Holy cow. <laughs> Look at all the spells. Alright. I gotta hand it to him. Yeah, okay. He, he tapped out. I mean, I had kill command. Anyway, so. Phew. Well, that went pretty well. How much damage did that golem do? That first golem I played was alive for ages.